he walked through in. Yeah, I know I said I was going to... Okay, now remember, I'm not going... I'm going to complete this quest. The, what I did the first time is I didn't know there was more to it, so I made it expired. Which means, like, you completed some of it, but you didn't do all of it. But you didn't fail it either. So, I know I said I'd do most of the first time... I, I do... I know I said I'd play the game mostly according to what I did the, my, on my first playthrough on this. But, this is going to be one of those instances where, I mean, because I just don't want to, I really don't want to expire the quest, and I want to show you how to do everything as as much as possible. So first, we're going to smash these ticket booths, and we're not going to go straight to the boat ride, because that would be expiring the quest. A um, little green thing following us is a terp, which is the thinner guardian. Okay, now, I don't think you can see... But, on top of that ride right there, there is a chest, and inside the chest is a rare golden e-ticket with Oswald's face on it, and the gold ones are worth 100. I'll explain how to get that chest later. But what he wants us to, what Gremlin Tim wants us to do right now is go get his wrench. Because gremlins are really useful with wrenches, and they can teleport and levitate and whatnot. Remember, Gus, the guy who's our new friend, is a gremlin. Okay, now, I will do probably 80% of this walkthrough, at least 80% of it will be based on what I did the first time I played this game, but this is going to be part of the 20% that isn't. Okay, thin this cup right there, and you found a wrench. That's definitely a gremlin wrench, I know. Let's take it to Gremlin Tim by the elephant ride. If you go in here, you'll see that there's a chest on the other side of these bars, but we'll get to that later. There is a way to get there. Oh, and there's a bunch of little hedge stuff, like that one's of Oswald. Uh, I think that one might be of Donald Duck. I'm going to leave him decapitated, though. I mean, not decapitated, but... Let me go ahead and tell you now, the ending of the game is quite creative. Like, depending on what... Like, there are certain quests that, whether you complete or fail them, determine the outcome of the ending. So that's pretty cool that way. And yes, the ending is going to be part of the 80% that is going to be based on my first playthrough, so... What the ending will look like is what it looked like the first time I played this game. In case you haven't noticed, this place is supposed to look like Disney World, and the part of Disney World it's supposed to look like is Magic Kingdom. There's also MGM Studios, Animal Kingdom, and Epcot, and like the water parks, but those aren't included in this game. The only part of Disney World that is in this game is Magic Kingdom. Because I remember seeing this elephant ride when I was there like back in 2006. And a teacup ride. My wrench! Now I can fix the broken elephant ride machine. The spinning cup ride is not functioning as well. Looks like the pipes behind the maintenance area walls are leaking. That's my guess. Now I'm flying types like you can use the elephant ride to jump up on the big tent. From up there, you can reach the maintenance area. It's a difficult path, but you seem to be capable. If you need me, I will be over behind the spinning cup ride, examining the machine. Teleport show off. Quest updated. Ticket booth. Okay, remember that little M icon up there means that your progress has been saved. So if you quit the game, they'll probably appear at this part of the... Um, place. You cannot go inside the tent, though. Like I said, this is kind of like... The game's not divided into worlds, but if they were, this would be World 1, World of Gremlins. Now, we just thin that door right there. When you thin one of those gears, it'll stop rotating. Paint will start it again. Alright. Now, hit tent here. If you press the 1 button, look below. Oh, piece of concept art right over there. Ah, 
Ah, the, the spatter springs up one. Okay. Hmm. All right. Well, it doesn't look like we can, like, you know, go back the way we came. So what you have to do now is just thin this wall and either make a big jump for it, or you could have just waited for those boats to come out. Okay, now, in case you're wondering, like, the door that those boats came out of, in case you think you can just, like, jump on top of the boat and try to go inside where they come from, that is actually not possible. I've tried that, and, like, the door kind of pushes you out. There's, like, some invisible wall there. The door just, like, shoves you out, so making it possible to go in. And because of that, you'll just wind up falling into the thinner. Okay, we're back at the gears. Thin it right about now, and it'll stop. But let me just go ahead and kind of spoil it to you. The worlds, uh, World 1 is World of Gremlins. World 2 is uh, Mickey Junk Mountain. World 3 is Tomorrow City. World 4 is Pirates of the Wasteland. World 5 is uh, Lonesome Manor. And World 6 is Stopping the Blot. Like I said, this game is not divided into worlds, but that's how they'd be, divi that's how they'd be divided up. That's how they'd stack up if they were. So we make a big jump. Okay, now you can double jump, but here's something. Okay, like this only works if you're jumping forward. Like, say you're gonna jump and jump again. Well, if you press on, if you keep moving and then you do your spin attack, that makes you jump even more. Like, for example, look. So you definitely use that, like, if you're falling from a high height. If you're falling from a high height, like, try to jump or use your spin attack like, kind of close to the ground because you won't take damage that way. And if you're crossing a long gap, definitely use your spin attack move. Okay, this is a paint and thinner pump, standard equipment on most rides, and, you, and this is the first one of many. You will see several more throughout the game. It can be filled with your paint or thinner, but never both at the same time. Paint often fixes things up, gets the ride running smoother. Thinner tends to throw a wrench in the works. Sometimes it's handy, though. A paint thinner pump is always connected to something. This one is connected to the spinning cup ride. In this case, it's connected with pipes. To repair the ride, patch the pipes and fill the pump. Remember, though, filling it with thinner may have unexpected consequences. Now, the first time, of course, I didn't even do this part of the quest. But, can okay, you fix the pipes, now you just need to fill the pump. Oh, and don't fall down there. You'll have to go back. Up. But I will go ahead and tell you. If you fill it with paint, the... the Okay, like, see, you can't fill it with paint and thinner. Look, I'm going to fill it half with paint, and now I'm going to fill it with thinner. Well, as soon as it gets to three quarters thinner, the paint level is going to drop. Okay, so if you fill it all with paint, the ride is going to work smoothly again. If you fill it all with thinner... Oh, if you fill it all with paint, the ride is going to work, and Gremlin 10 is going to let you get to that chest. <laughs> And if you fill it all with thinner, the ride is going to be screwed and it's going to stop. But the thing on top, but the thing in the middle will lower, and you'll be able to get to that chest with the Oz, with the golden e ticket inside. But Gremlin Tim will not let you get the chest with the pin in it. So my recommendation, just um, there'll be more chances for Oswald lead tickets later on. So just fill it with paint. Just get you guys got to like splash it four times. Or whatever. You fix the ride, that makes me feel much better. In fact, so much better that I can open this door for you. Please keep whatever you may find in there along with my gratitude. Quest completed, ticket booth. I've got no idea what that noise is. Ah! Crap, I missed one of those dolls up there. Okay, now, if you go through the door, you can finally get to that chest. And we have received a bronze pin. Yay. Nothing too special, but hey. Now keep in mind, there are a total of 105 pins, and we still have 101 to go. And 36 film reels, and we still have 35 to go. 
And like I said, if you filled it with thinner, then this cup would stop, this bribe would stop working, and the thing would come down. You could get the E ticket, but you couldn't get that bronze pin. Mickey, I've heard legends about you, but I never knew what a helpful guy you really are. I want you to be more like you. Of course, if you use Finner on the ride, he has a completely different opinion. But let's leave this little area who I have no idea what it's supposed to be. Ah, we don't have any tickets, sorry, we're just going to hop a ride on the boat without paying for it. See ya! And on to the jungle boat ride! The first boat ride of, like, three in the world of gremlins. Now, get used to hop going boat hopping, because you'll do it a lot throughout the game. Remember, if you see three of those guardians shaped like Mickey, it means you're heading in the right direction. That's where you want to go. Now we're turning back now. Oh dear. Well, this ride isn't fixed at all. Look at these boats jammed in here. Some are even overturned. That door should have automatically opened, but I guess it's broken too. There are pipes inside the walls that operate the door's locks. Thinning out those pipes will break the locks and the door should open. Now that I think of it, the hippos are connected to the door as well. Stopping the hippos with paint will bypass the door's lock and that would open it too. And look behind you. Doesn't this door look awesome? Now, there is a piece of concept art where you can look at this door, and it's of this door, and it says the door leads to the jungle boat ride. Bull crap! As you can obviously see, it doesn't lead to the jungle boat ride, but it, it, it kind of gets out of it. It's like the exit door from this place. It's kind of like the other side of the entrance. Now, if you stand on an overturned boat, it will start to sink, so just don't fall, don't let it get you into the thinner. Now, thinning the little white parts does work, but what I did the first time is paint the hippo heads. And yep, you guessed it, since I painted the hippo heads the first time, I'm going to paint them this time. You can thin the scenery right there, but it's pretty pointless. Look over there! You did it! <laughs> Alright, now let's get out of here. Now let's get on this boat and... Get out of here. Now, as soon as you get on land... What's that noise? <laughs> That's a whirlpool. Stay clear of those. Just think if we had stayed on those boats too long. Oh, a new type of blotling. Uh-oh, that creature head looks like a sweeper. They're trouble. They are a cousin to the spatters, but are capable of hurling bucketfuls of thinner. If you get close, I'll try to sweep you into the river. Hence the name, Sweeper. So yes, now we got a new type of enemy to, enemy to deal with. And if you used... If you did paint the hippo heads instead of thinning the pipes, this hippo will open his mouth and give you 10 e-tickets. One thing I like about any of the blotlings is, look, you can just, like, spin attack them into a pool of nearby thinner and instant kill. Bye-bye! Okay, now this, you'll also see several whirlpools throughout the game, so stay clear of those. Hey, look, another gremlin. It's Trigo. Looks like he got captured. Let's release him. 
Much better. Go and type around Pinza and Hable are so caged somewhere. Any of, any, any of us you can help will return the favor at the first opportunity. Well, gee, thanks. Okay, now you can paint this little leaf bridge right here. How did that chest get up there? There must be a way to get to it. And do not worry, there is a way to get to it. Okay, I thought there was something that could be painted, I guess not. Okay, what you want to do now is you want to paint this right there. And then thin this gear. No. Cry. Screw that. In case you haven't noticed the background music, it's gonna loop until we get to Mean Street, which is still kind of a long way off. Meaning, no matter which area we go to, it's gonna play the same thing over and over. Okay, now forget thinning this gear. We're just gonna go ahead and jump up. And whoops, okay. How do I get rid of this gear again? Wait. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, you have to the funny thing is, I should not have thinned out any of those gears, because to get to that chest, you have to paint all of them. That was not an easy chest to reach. I'm impressed. Oh, and just to make it easier for the return trip, you have these gears right here, rising and falling. So you don't have to go on those bigger ones. Another bronze pin, alright. Okay, so remember, there are 20 gold pins, 17 silver, 20 bronze, and then there's the rest of them are collectible. We've not found a silver yet. Silver and gold, silver and gold. Alright, it's not Christmas time. Okay, now you can just thin this door, and we're pretty much right back where we were. So, yeah. But we had no other option. Now remember how I said spatters are dressed according to the environment? Well, um, look, look at how they're dressed. Okay, they're dressed as like pharaohs or something. I don't know why they're... I don't even know what they're dressed as. They're like, they look like they're dressed as pharaohs, but I don't think they are, so... Okay, that guy just instantly killed. Okay, there's a caged gremlin. I am in your debt. I hope you can help my other trapped friends. I will express my gratitude when an opportunity presents itself. Good day. Okay, now you don't have to go on these bridges. There is a way you can get up to these bridges if you decide to go down on these rocks instead. But yeah. There's probably lots of e-tickets I'm missing down there. But oh well. We'll get plenty more. Instant kill. <sighs> All right, there are two other gremlins. Where are they? There's one. I like the sound it makes when the cage breaks. Ah, Hyperon, do thank you, sir. See you at the end of this ride. Yeah, yeah. 
Speaking at the end of this ride, we are coming to it pretty cool, pretty soon. Over there is the end. In case you've not figured it out, the white circle thing is the cursor, so it helps you aim and stuff. Okay, now if you do decide to go up here, please do. <laughs> Extra content unlocked, Pirate Gate, and that was the one I was talking about with that skeleton door. See, look, there's another whirlpool right there, and there's a couple of hippos over there you can bounce on, like that one. Pinza is grateful. I'm right behind you. Let's go. Okay, there are no more caged gremlins on this ride, so don't worry about that. Hey, a sweeper. Okay, I'm gonna thin this guy. Remember, I pretty much always thin my enemies. Hmm. Okay, that door right over there is our way out. Yoda! Oh yeah, make sure to get out before the thing completely sum uh, submerges itself in thinner. Ha! The sweepers are on the retractable platforms. Use the valves to drop them into the thinner and open the doors. But if you rescued all the gremlins, they'll help you. Pins us to the rescue, my trusty wrench will help you, or whatever. Of course, you don't have to rescue all of them, but as many as you rescue, the better. This looks like a job for Hyperon. I'll fix this for you. Abel Hable works his magic. Shiro here to return the favor. Watch this. Yeah, the, as you progress with the game, you'll realize that if you free gremlins, that'll help you in the, in the long run. And there's the Mickey symbol, so that's where we should go next. Well, that was easy. We didn't even have to do anything. Okay, go through here if you want to get to that chest. A silver pen! Sixteen more of those. Whee! Ah! Go down the leaves. And let's go. <laughs> well, no turning back now. Well, there's no going back now. Arg, we need to find a way to shut that steam off. The entry to the Asia boat ride is through that door. That's right, people. We're going to Asia! There has to be something around here that can help. Okay, now, notice how the steam is blocking the valves which you need to open the door? Yeah, this, this, this steam's not going to hurt you, but usually it does. So what you want to do is just step on this thing. Hey, this shuts the steam off over by the next valve. Hurry to it. But you only got ten seconds. To deact to switch all three. Hmm, <coughs> that's a familiar face. Mickey Mouse, eh, I heard you're a Mr. Goody Two Shoes. Well, here's your chance to prove it. Now this is not the Pete, this is some guy dressed like a this is some Pete dressed like a girl named Small Pete. Why he's dressed like that, I'll, I never know, I'll never know. 
I spent years getting along with gremlins, only hard to knock, only had to knock them around on occasion. Then the one time I crashed my boat into their village, they seemed to think I'm some kind of villain. Not that I give two hoots what they think, but it was an accident, and my ship's log will prove it. Oh yeah? Well, what if you just wrote down that it was an accident, but it was really on deliberate purpose? Those little monsters won't let me near the wreck to get it, though. Hmm. I'll bet they'd let you. Find that log for my ship so we can put this to rest and I can get back to work. See you soon, or sooner if you know what's good for you. Find Small Pete's ship's log. Okay, the Asia boat ride, and then the Gremlin Village, and then European, at the end of the European boat ride, when we'll see Small Pete again. See, look, the spatters are just like Asian people, because they got little straw hats on, so. I saw a Gremlin Braun on the top of the pagoda. Perhaps he can tell us how to follow Oswald. Braun might also have a gas on whatever Small Pete was complaining about. Hey, look! Hey, get back here! There's Oswald again. How did he get over there? Surely he didn't lock that door. And if you notice, there was another projector screen behind that door. So yeah. Quest added. Navigate the Asia boat ride. Well, that is it, people. I'll see you next time for exciting part four, where we take a trip through Asia, and hopefully the Gremlin Village as well.